Hello. Before we start this video, I want to apologize for a few things first. First, about the time this is being released. I originally was trying to get this out Friday or Saturday, since I know that's a more convenient time for people to watch a almost hour-long video. Uh, some things ended up falling through, and I ended up getting pretty sick, so I had to get it out at 2 a.m. on a Monday, so... That's gonna be fun to try and work into your schedule, isn't it? And two would be the audio issues in this video. The aforementioned thing that I was sick. While recording this, I was on the pathway to sickness and my voice was really gaspy and you can tell that I'm out of breath for most of it. And my voice cracks are increased by like tenfold and they're already pretty common so you can imagine how bad that is. And also for like the first 15 minutes of this video, there is a very slight staticky noise in the background that really annoyed me when editing. I considered re-recording that part to try and fix it, but the day after I recorded this, my voice got worse, and then it got worse, and then breathing hurt. So I just had to kind of accept that's the way it was. You know, I can understand if you don't want to listen to that. It ignored me a lot, so if that's a deal breaker for this video, then that's fine. But without further ado, what if Amy never returned in this episode? You can see why that's why we skipped a few episodes ahead, since obviously this wouldn't come into effect until she actually returns, so everything before it would still play out the same. For those of you who don't remember or just haven't seen the season, which case, I don't, I don't know why you're here. In this episode, Amy returns from like a swamp monster and she attacks Amy causing them both to get eliminated in this episode. The idea here is just I guess she'd be a normal human and wouldn't become a swamp monster to follow her sister back. We're gonna talk about what if that happens. Sean isn't actually at this challenge originally because he sees Amy and he sees her as a swamp monster and assumes that she is a zombie because he's paranoid and he just hides away. But now that Amy hasn't come to do that Sean would be at the challenge and everything would be fine. But even with Sean at the challenge, the first three matchups would say the same because Dave had the idea to save Sky at the end for like stronger opponents and I think he'd think the same thing for Sean. So he'd still insist on going first to fight against Topher. They'd both go and they'd both get a point because their horses don't attack each other. Sugar and Sammy face against each other and Sugar would still get knocked in the water by the scuba bear and Sammy would get a point. And then Max and Ella would go and Max would still have the idea to electrocute her. Well, he wouldn't have the idea. Scarlet would would, but you know I digress. So the score right now is 3 to 1. They would still help Ella get out of the water and Ella would develop a little crush on her. Now that Scarlet is here I think Sean would see that Sky is being really upset of what just happened and he'd insist on going more because he's he didn't want Sky to go out and do something wrong. Also he just doesn't want to fight Jasmine in the next round so he would want to try and get out of the way now so that he wouldn't have to hit Jasmine because he likes her. I thought Sean would get the point here but actually re-watching the clip Scarlet is like surprisingly agile for someone who we've seen not have any physical abilities so far. We also haven't seen her have any physical disabilities. She slides really clean for someone who's just kind of like a nerd to be honest. So I don't think that Sean would have a super big vendetta to try and attack her and I don't think she could knock him down so I think the same sort of thing would happen with Dave and Topher where Sean would take a swing at Scarlet, Scarlet would duck and they'd both get a point, making the score 4-2. to two. This time Jasmine wouldn't be distracted during the challenge about Sean being missing because he's here. So she would be giving her full ability this time. However, facing against Sky, who's still really mad about what happened with Max and Ella, she'd be really aggressive, and I imagine she'd still fly at you know Jasmine how she would have flown at Scarlet, making her overswing. But Jasmine is pretty big, so I don't think she'd be able to avoid it. Maybe it wouldn't affect her that much because she's kind of a big person, but honestly, she seemed to kind of get pushed over really easily in this challenge. She's not like a brick wall or anything. She still can get knocked over. So Sky would knock her down, but Sky would still overshoot and fall in the water. So there'd just be no points there. The show originally here cuts a couple rounds to have a scene with Sean in the woods since he's missing from the challenge, but since I can't know who would have competed during that time that we had the cut, I am just going to assume that the same points that happened still happened because I I don't know how to know who would have faced off against each other because everyone at this point has competed. So it could have been any matchups at all. So I don't know how to determine who got points. I'm just going to assume that the same thing happens. And originally with that cut, each team got one point. So now the score would be 5-3, to three, meaning the Salmon Salmons. I'm not calling this team Salmons. This is just annoying. I'm, they're going to be called floaters. That's easier to say. The floaters are one point away from winning. Ella and Max face off against each other again and the scuba bear comes out and Ella sings to get the point, pacifying the bear, making it hit Max, and this would also lead to Chris later telling her that if she sings again she'll get kicked off the show. So that still happens. Jasmine would go again 
She's obviously their best competitor and they only need one point to win. Also, she wouldn't need to like throw the challenge anymore. It's pretty big and most people couldn't really knock her down again. Even Sky at this point like isn't angry enough and now Jasmine would know to dodge. And I don't know who would go against her at this point. Maybe Sky again, but I don't really think it matters because again, as I said, I don't think anybody can take her down. Sky was only able to take her down the first time because she had such a strong aggression there. But if she tried to do that again, Jasmine would just dodge now knowing it's going to happen. So. I don't think anybody can beat her, which gives the floaters the win. It's also re obviously revealed when Amy returns that Sammy has been pretending to be Amy the entire time, but that wouldn't happen, she'd still be pretending to be Amy. Scarlet, however, is shown to actually know this beforehand, so Scarlet would still know, but she still wouldn't say anything. Also Jasmine obviously knows because they talked about it. Jasmine would have no reason to be mad at Sean because he didn't hit her in the face because he thought she was a zombie. Great storyline, but they'd be fine now and they'd still like each other and Jasmine wouldn't be mad. When it comes to the vote of this team, I think pretty obviously Sugar votes for Ella. Ella is probably so nice that if Sugar asked her to vote, Sugar could tell her to vote herself and she would, so maybe there's two votes there, I don't really know. I don't really know, but it doesn't even matter because if Ella did vote for Sugar, then it'd still be a 1-1 and these three are still deciding the vote, since these three have been shown to not really be in an alliance, but they've shown to get along well. So they'd be deciding the vote. And I think out of Ella and Sugar, you know, a nice person and a pretty unsufferable person, they lean towards Sugar. It is kind of a question if Sky would be so jealous of Ella and Dave developing a relationship that she would want Ella gone, because it was kind of seen in this episode that she gets really uncomfortable when Ella shows liking to Dave, but I don't think it's that big, and Sky is really not that kind of person, I don't think. And even if she is, I think she just dislikes Sugar more, so she'd be able to get over it and still vote out Sugar knowing that she's the worst for the team. They would still have this thing he has where he makes a picnic for Sky, and Sean comes up asking him what it's about and why he cares so much, and if it's really worth the money for this girl he just met. And when he does this, he actually convinces Sean about true love and then Sean goes to tell Jasmine that he likes her and originally it's shot down because you know Jasmine was mad at him but now that she isn't mad at him I think she'd hear him and she'd be kind of flustered since it comes just out of nowhere and she'd say she needs a little bit of time to think about it since she's just really shocked and she would like him obviously it wasn't like a bad thing she just needs time because it was really instantaneous Ella would still come to the picnic thinking it's for her Dave would tell her it's for Sky. Ella would tell Sky Dave likes her and Sky would feel happy that Dave likes her but sad for Ella. All same stuff. During the challenge Jasmine would be talking to Sammy about what she should do with Sean. She would support her in dating Sean since and Sammy thinks a lot more emotional than most people. She isn't even here to like win the money. She even she said that during the first episode that she was just here to get away from her sister. So she's really not connected to the show in a challenge aspect. So she would want Jasmine to be happy and think it's more important that they are together. And also she'd just think it'd be nice for Jasmine since she's never had a boyfriend because her sister's always taking the spotlight. And she would tell Jasmine this and Jasmine would be a little bit upset for her but appreciate her advice. This challenge is really, really boring now for one main reason and it's Dave. Dave has a banana in the challenge originally. I don't know how he got one, I guess maybe it was from the picnic, but he has a banana he brings into the challenge and when the bears find the monkey, they can't give him the banana because Sugar ate the banana like an idiot, but now that she isn't here, they would just trade the banana for the corn, and these aren't like, you know, special high-tech monkeys or anything, these are normal monkeys, and normal monkeys would give up anything for a banana, so it's like, I don't see a reason why that wouldn't work. This might be total drama, but it's still like, real life, and in real life, you give a banana to a monkey for something, they'll take that banana. Bears just win within like the first five minutes of the challenge, which is pretty boring, but whatever. Since the bears win so quickly, there are some things that can't even happen in this episode because of just how short the episode is cut. One, Ella wouldn't have to sing since Dave never gets taught by the bear and she never has to sing to disarm the bear, so she's still in the game. The challenge wouldn't go on long enough for Max to set up a trap to try and trap his entire team because Scarlet told Max to make a trap so that Max could trap the team to demand respect from the team, but now that the challenge just doesn't go on long enough, he wouldn't have a chance to catch him in a trap to get respect, because... <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> However, Topher would still actually get Chris's phone, because the scene right after the confused bears find their monkey is Topher getting the phone, and assuming the bears still need to run back to the vending machine, that next scene could still happen. So Topher would still get the phone and still have the plan to become the host. When looking at the votes, it's pretty clear that Max would still go, since 
nobody else really has a reason to dislike anyone else and they still think Max is annoying. And Scarlet had planned on getting rid of Max this episode, but I think now that she would see that Sammy and Jasmine are together and they're a pretty strong group, she wouldn't want Max to go since Max is the only real strong ally. So it would be Scarlet and Max teaming together on a vote. Obviously Jasmine and Sammy would be working together since they're friends and they'd be voting out Max. So that leaves Topher in the middle. Topher is the swing vote of this vote. Scarlet would be trying to manipulate Topher and she is pretty good at like making a good case but one Topher doesn't really care about like logic <laughs> he's not very smart and his head is definitely not in the game since the only thing he cares about is becoming host and also he has to convince Topher to vote out Jasmine easily the strongest player on their team maybe the entire season over Max. It's a very difficult plead to make, so it wouldn't really be that effective. Earlier about how she didn't never had a boyfriend, we kind of feel bad for her and like the idea of her getting some love in her life because she's so deprived of it. So she would insist on Sammy going to talk to Topher to try and get his vote, maybe even saying like you should floor with him. And Sammy would obviously be kind of against it since she doesn't really like Topher, she thinks he's really vain and dumb. But Jasmine would be begging to her, saying that like, I could be on the line tonight, I really don't want to go. And Sammy would feel bad not wanting to make Jasmine feel bad or have her go home. So she'd go to talk to Topher and flirt a little bit. Obviously Sammy isn't good at flirting, so she'd just kind of end up talking to Topher. She goes to talk to him and sees the phone that he stole. Sammy mentions it to him, and Topher would admit that he stole from Chris to become the host. Sammy thinks it's a stupid idea, but trying to win his vote tells him that she'll keep his secret and even help him with the plan if he votes for Max tonight. Topher agrees and has Sammy do a business standard handshake to make it official and Sammy kind of is annoyed by this but also thinks it's kind of funny so she does it. This convinces Topher to vote for Max and results in a 3 to 2 with Max going. After the vote, Jasmine would talk to Sean telling him that she likes him too and that she wants to be a couple but wants to remain distant and not tell anyone to not create targets on either of their backs. Sean agrees and is excited that Jasmine likes him too. Even though Scarlet was getting annoyed with Max and kind of wanted him to go anyway, she's feeling bad now she knows she's kind of on the bottom of the team and has the plan to try and convince Topher to come with her, but she doesn't know how yet and she doesn't really know when's a good time to talk about him since she kind of observed that it made no sense for Topher not to vote with her since she made such a good plea to him. Originally, Sugar is massively cock-blocking Dave and Sky from kissing and dating because she doesn't want that threat on the team. But now that Sugar is in here, they would be fine. They would be fine since Ella obviously wouldn't want to interfere with that because she's too nice. And Sean is Dave's friend, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense for him to stop that. This also means she wouldn't be here to interfere with their near kiss moment at the bottom of the cliff. But I imagine now that Sky just wouldn't kiss Dave since you know she's not ready to kiss him she's not ready to go do that that's kind of against the entire thing she wanted to say and instead of dave catching that as a hint of she doesn't like him and doesn't want to date him right now he just continues being delusional and assumes that it's just like the wrong setting or something because he's dave and he's dumb. again sugar being sugar causes a lot of shenanigans and cave in originally by yelling in the cave but since she isn't here, there's no Kaven, and the teams would actually just have time to go together as teams. And this time, and this means that this time the floaters would travel together as a team. Since Chris says explicitly, for the team to win, everyone has to cross the finish line of the team. So it wouldn't really make sense for them to split up as a team, because then they just have to hope that one team doesn't end up at a dead end or something like that. So they'd all just go together to avoid the risk of that. The bears find, like, glow slugs in a cave, and Sugar ends up eating one and turning her belly button into a flashlight. God, this show is so fucking weird. And that actually is like pretty important to them since they don't get a flashlight because both teams got a bag to help them in the challenge and the, and the floaters was a lot more useful than theirs. Theirs was like climbing gear, helmets, and flashlights. And the fuse bears was like a CD, soy sauce packet, and, and something else. Like it was not helpful. But they wouldn't have a reason to eat them. And I think Sean or someone like Sky both rational minds with survival skills could say like we should take these slugs since we need light and Dave would be reluctant since he's obviously a germaphobe but with Sky being there and Sky pushing him and Dave being a pushover would take the slug and they just carry the slugs around them to see where they're going and Ella would be fine with it since she's Ella and she likes animals and would think they're kind of cute. Topher would still be annoyed about the phone not having service in the caves. Sammy now kind of being closer to him and want to maintain that friendship would ask him about it like why it's so important for the phone and why he cares so much about his plan. They'd kind of be at the back so Scarlet and Jasmine wouldn't know about what they're talking. And Tofu would just say to show off his amazing TV personality, which Sammy would give a, a slow, sarcastic clap to, making fun of him, but Tofu would take it as a real clap since he's egocentric. And Sammy would giggle at it, thinking it's kind of cute how dumb he is. 
Scarlet doesn't hear the bulk of their talk, but she does hear them giggling at the end. And Scarlet kind of realizes now why her talk didn't go through to Topher, that she was being too smart about it, and she needs to be more casual and people-oriented, which she's not good with, to accommodate to him. She knows this will be difficult since she isn't really a personality that's very personable, so she would want to try and make sure that her and Topher can get away so that she can do it more effectively. Because in a group setting, it'd be a lot harder for her to kind of manipulate him. But if they're one-on-one, -on -one, then she could do it a lot easier. The floaties would go originally the way that Scarlet and Max went, which is where there were stalagmites above the roof. And if they were too loud or it stomped too loud, you know, those would fall. And then Chris releases an alligator, which is robotic, but they don't know that. Jasmine already being claustrophobic and being in a tight place would already be on edge. And then with the crocodile would cause her enough to run and scream. And since she's big and since she screamed, that would cause the stalagmites to fall. Scarlet would try and take the chance to split herself off of Topher. She'd find a hole nearby and then pull herself and Topher into it to excuse it off as avoiding the stalagmites, but really she just wanted to try and fall down another path to talk to Topher. Sammy and Jasmine wouldn't realize they're gone until all the stalagmites fall, where Jasmine is still kind of freaked out about what happened. Sammy would realize this and realize she needs to get Jasmine back on track, so she talked to Jasmine about Sean to try and get her head back in the game, and it makes her feel a little bit better. It makes her feel better being more responsive, but she still seems pretty nervous and on edge. Both Scarlet and Topher would fall down the hole, and Topher would fall first, and Scarlet would fall on top of Topher. Both fall down the hole, Scarlet would fall on top of Topher and try making a pathetic attempt at being friendly which Topher just kind of gets confused by as Scarlet gets off and helps him up. The bears go into a room of gems and Sean takes one because he took one in the original and this makes the bear mad causing them to run away and jump into the shit lake. And the only difference here is that now Ella's here and Ella could maybe sing to get the bear off of them but I don't think she'd view it as a big enough reason to sing since it's her getting kicked off the show if she sings so she wouldn't feel the incentive to do so. The cave that Sammy and Jasmine are, are in currently is escaped by Scarlet in the original hacking the crocodile to open an elevator to get out but since they obviously don't know how to do that. They would just try and find Topher and Scarlet with Sammy like yelling for them and Topher would eventually respond and Sammy would notice they're both down a hole. After convincing with Jasmine and pushing her down the hole, they'd both go down. While falling down, Sammy would land on top of Topher, similar to how Scarlet did, except this time Topher would actually pick a lot better with both Sammy and Topher kind of laughing about it. Scarlet would notice this and realize that she has no hope. She has no hope in trying to be friendly to Topher and make Topher like her. So, so she figures out she doesn't need Topher to like her, that is she can just make Topher dislike Sammy. The floaters would find the same crack in the wall that Topher and Jasmine find originally, causing them to go up that way and then causing Jasmine to still freak out and break through the floor. And the bears would obviously go out their uh, very sanitary route, but not correct route and both teams wouldn't win and then Chris would still say, you both suck. So no one gets eliminated. However, this time he would separate the teams for romantic feelings again. But I think this time he would just acknowledge the fact that Sky and Dave have romantic feelings, and so do Topher and Sammy. And I don't really have a solid, solid way to say how he would switch the people, because there's like four different options here: Topher, Sky, Sky, Sammy, Dave, Sammy, Dave, Topher. But I'm just going to assume, for this case, that it's Sammy and Sky. This is kind of one of those things where if I was being 100% technical, then, you know, I'd have to figure out what Chris would want best for the team to switch, but I don't know. <laughs> Next episode, Scarlet would be happy that Sammy got switched off the team because now she feels like she can kind of work her way in with Sky a bit and be in less trouble. But now seeing that the numbers are like eight, she would realize that the merge is going to come soon and would still like it if Topher could distrust Sammy. So she'd still want to do that. Jasmine's originally really domineering to Sky, telling her that she can't like Dave or work with Dave because she's really mad about what happens with Sean, but because in this world, her and Sean are dating and nothing is wrong. She would be a lot less domineering and she'd kind of just give a warm welcome to Sky and not be too judgy about anything. Ella would be nice to Sammy since she's been kind of feeling a little left out out of the trio of Sean, Dave, and Sky, and is happy to have a new face. And Sammy would like talking to Ella, feeling that she's a really kind soul and like the feeling of being wanted since she's never really had that with Amy or he's hogging the intention. Sean would notice that Dave is pretty sad about Sky not being on the team anymore and Sean would try to comfort Dave wanting to help him since the entire reason he asked out Jasmine was because of Dave so we'd kind of want to repay it to her in some way to him in some way when it comes to the beginning of the challenge not too much is different right now with the teams when it comes to the baby we don't really know how Sammy and Ella would do since they're both not here Dave gets attacked by a rattlesnake again 
and Sky saves him again from the rattlesnake. And Dave again gets the wrong idea, thinking, oh, Sky wants to marry me because she saved me from a deadly snake. The floaters would be ahead of the bears since John has to go back originally to help Dave because he gets attacked by things because... Oh well. <laughs> so they'd be a bit behind coming into zone 2. When it comes to story beats, story beats, same things happen with Topher trying to show off, Topher gets shot by Chef's gun, uh, Bear chases him, they have to distract Bear, they fall on a platform, platform gets launched, Topher's ahead of them, now these three are slightly behind this team. Dave would help out Sky again, being an ice to tell her not to step on the horn. Guy wouldn't plan on betraying Dave at all, and Jasmine wouldn't push for you know her to throw the horn to trick him. But this time Scarlet would sabotage throwing the horn, getting Dave shot, because she'd still want to win. Sky would be upset because she likes Dave, but she doesn't want them to know it, but she'd just go with also that's unsportsmanlike, and Dave again would view that as Sky loves me, she protects me. Sammy and Elle would generally be in the front since Dave is back here with this, and now Sean has to go back to help Dave. Well, while they're going ahead, they would notice Topher still struggling with the pasta on his shirt, having to run away from the bear. Sammy would get really stressed out seeing Topher like this, and would try to help him, but there's not really a whole lot she can do against a blindfolded bear. But Ella would notice Sammy's distress, and also Topher's troubled. And this seems to me like a big enough reason for Ella to want to sing to help them out. Since Ella is friends with Sammy, and also singing seems to be the only way that you'd stop the bear since he can't see but he can't hear. So he'd sing and calm down the bear, and the bear would leave Topher alone. Topher would thank Ella and Sammy would hug Topher, and then they'd continue off the challenge. Sean again would have to go back and help Dave for getting shot from the pasta gun and carry him through zone 2. This time Dave isn't like upset about Sky betraying him or anything. So Sean doesn't have to give him a pep talk telling him to like be a big strong man and win challenges and win her heart, you know. Dave would just want to be able to compete in the challenge, but he just really can't because he was covered in rattlesnake bites, so he'd still become like paralyzed. During Zone 3, Topher would still get a fake call from the producers, causing him to yell, causing the floaters to be packed in the snow, and then causing the bears to have the opportunity to make it to the finish line. And I think it's pretty obvious with these three. Uh, they'd want Topher gone. Jasmine has no reason to dislike Scarlet or Sky. Sky has no reason to like Jasmine. I mean, she might dislike Scarlet for what she did, but I don't think it'd be like enough enough since she'd kind of view it as like she's a competitor, she works, you know. So it'd be a free to one to eliminate Topher. But Topher would try to have his big reveal saying, no, I'm the producer, but Chris would spoil it and Topher would be really confused and upset. However, Topher would be fine this episode because Ella sang, and Chris said if Ella sings, she is automatically eliminated. And it was shown in the episode she was eliminated in that she saved Max from getting eliminated that episode because she got eliminated instead. So now Ella would get eliminated instead and Topher would be fine. Ella is a bit sad but isn't too bummed and Sammy is thankful for her sacrifice and gives her a hug before she leaves. And now we are on to the merge. The cast looking mostly the same except for the new inclusions of Sammy and Topher. Once the merge is announced, uh, Scarlet would instantly plan to break up the couples of Topher and Sammy and Dave and Sky, seeing that they are two couples that are dangerous when there's this many little people in the game left. She obviously wouldn't like Jasmine or Sean either, but in this case, she actually doesn't know that they're dating because Jasmine and Sean have been intentionally trying to hide it. So, Scarlet's plan this episode would be try to get Dave and Sky to hate each other, and try to get Topher and Sammy to hate each other. So that way, these two teams of four, so that way, these two teams don't really become a problem for her. Topher would be upset that his plan to become host didn't work and it was a foil in the last episode, but with motivation from Sammy that you know, maybe if he won, the producers would consider him. It helps fuel Topher's new goal, which is to win the game. During the first part of the challenge, where they're all drinking gross things. Scarlet would be sitting next to Dave, and Scarlet would tell Dave, you know, Sky isn't really seeming that into you. Maybe if you were more like her, she'd be more interested, which would pique Dave's curiosity, which Scarlet would then explain that she's talking about if he was more competitive and won more challenges, that Sky would kind of like him more because that's what she's like. So then Dave would still follow down the same arc of what she originally does with Sean of, I'm gonna be big alpha man and brag to Sky and make her like me. I have zero reason to believe Topher would be any good at this challenge since, I mean, he's Topher, he doesn't seem like someone who would be good at eating gross things. However, I considered with Sammy for a while, and I do kind of think she actually has a merit for doing well in this challenge. Considering she's been tortured by her sister all the time, I feel like something her sister would have done is like make her eat gross things when they were, you know, young young. That could have helped Sammy build like an immunity to sort of gross things. And since there aren't really any obvious standouts in this challenge, except for Sugar who isn't here now, I feel confident going in with this assumption that she would be the best 
else that it since she she has that sort of built-in immunity when no one else was doing well at all sammy would win the first part of the challenge to act as seeker and have immunity they would still finish and still act cocky the sky causing obviously the scene that happened to happen i'd rather not narrate it thinking about it makes me want to cringe scarlet would be pleased thinking that was a lot easier than she had planned but now wants to continue working on topher and would ask him if she can travel with him and now that topher just had a talk with sammy about wanting to win he'd say yes because he knows that scarlet's a really intelligent person and is pretty good in challenges when it comes to anything like intelligence based which he thinks he has to work on so he'd agree to her coming with him and helping her dave and sky would find each other in the woods and again have a another prophetic blow up while they are traveling scarlet would tell topher that Sammy isn't who he thinks she is and at to first Topher isn't believing her since Sammy helped her with all the stuff and saved him and saved him a couple times but Scarlet tells Topher the entire story of Sammy switching places with her sister Amy on the day she was supposed to go and that the person on the island with them right now is a person that should have left after the third challenge. Topher is stunned and doesn't believe her but Scarlet grabs his hand and tells him to follow her and she'll prove it. Sammy would find Dave in the tree since he's still there which in turn would also help her find Sky because Dave rats out Sky because he's a little slimy. At this point, Scarlet would tug Topher towards Sammy, which Sammy would obviously find both of them, but Scarlet would take the blueberry off of Sammy's face that she's been using at this point to disguise as Amy's mole. Topher would see it, and after some prying from Scarlet, Sammy would have confessed to everything, which makes Topher really mad at her, calling her a liar and a terrible person, but Sammy would attack back, calling Topher a self-absorbed idiot. The fight would come to an end as the food poisoning kicks in, but there would still be a lot of tension, and Scarlet feels accomplished. Now, when it comes to the basically zombie-like figures following Jasmine and Sean. Sean originally learns in this episode from the whole incident of Sammy and him attacking Jasmine and Jasmine getting mad that he puts Jasmine above surviving the zombie apocalypse because he cares about her more. But since this is the first time that this is happening, he would still value his life more than Jasmine's because this is what he's been training for his entire life. Meaning Sean wouldn't go out of his way to save her and Jasmine would get caught because she was originally at the bottom of the tree and they would have got her if Sean didn't come help her. This would kind of affect their relationship negatively as Jasmine realizes that Sean in his mind just let her get eaten by zombies but it wouldn't really be enough for like a breakup or a big outburst it would just be like Jasmine would be a bit annoyed and you know kind of upset with Sean but she wouldn't be like angry angry this means that Sean being the last one to be captured and Sammy winning the first part of the challenge would both have immunity for this vote when it comes to the vote itself Scarlet would target Sky since Sky is, is one of the strongest competitors and has a target on her back right now for lashing out on Dave. Topher would also join this boat since Scarlet would kind of manipulate him now that Topher's trusting her a bit more. Sky would vote for Dave since, you know, that happened. And then Dave would vote for himself since he had this entire campaign around this time to get rid of himself. So that leaves these three as the swing of votes. One thing to note here is that Jasmine and Sean aren't together right now. They're kind of upset and they're kind of in a gray area. So they wouldn't actually vote together, but Sammy and Jasmine would. And when it comes to Jasmine's vote, she's known Sky a bit longer on the team and also kind of just sees where Sky's coming from. So she would vote for Dave, which Sammy and Trent will follow with. And Sean would be upset that he wasn't able to help Dave like he wanted to, but would respect Dave's wishes to be eliminated and also vote for Dave, causing a 5-2 to two with Dave going. Scarlet would be really mad at this point since now she's second vote she's had that hasn't gone her way. Obviously the island would still break down. Scarlet and Topher would go off together since they're kind of a team now. Jasmine and Sammy would go off together and Jasmine would tell Sean that she needs a bit more time, you know, since she's upset from what happened. Sean would feel bad and Sky would offer to go with Sean since she also doesn't really have anybody and is also kind of feeling bad for being outcasted for being bad to Dave. So they would travel together. While Scarlet and Topher are running together, Scarlet would continue trying to implant it in Topher's mind that Sammy's been a bad person and she's the most manipulative person on the entire cast, paint her in a bad light saying things like she purposely worked with Ella to get her eliminated, thinking that Sammy, a person he liked, was a bad person. Topher would be really upset, but thanks Scarlet for telling him the truth. Jasmine and Sammy would go the same way that Jasmine and Sean went originally, which was in a pond, they went down into a room. Sky and Sean would go the same way that Sky and Sugar went originally, which is them going on a tree and then it, the tree gets shot down into the area. And Scarlet and Topher would go the same way that Scarlet and Max went because Scarlet was the one who found the opening. Sammy and Jasmine would run into the same lasers that her and Sean went into originally. And Sammy would not be able to dodge these lasers, but luckily we already know what actually happens because they did get hit by the lasers originally. So the robots would come out of the ground and then Jasmine and Sammy would run to slide under the door before it closes 
and yeah, it'd basically be the same. It's not that interesting. Cut Sky and Chalmer make for the tree lowering into the engine room, and Chris would warn them of the kitty, and it would attack them, making them run through the gear room. Again, same idea. Scarlet and Topher would fall into the hatch near the control room, and unfortunately, same idea. And as much as I hate it, as much as I hate the way Scarlet, a character who could have been a good villain, just drops it all to be cringy evil. <laughs> she would drop it all and be cringy evil. <laughs> About the same things would happen. Door would open, Scarlet would go crazy, she'd send a robot after Topher, and then she would talk to Chris demanding that she gets money or she'll let the entire island blow up. Sky and Sean would meet up with Jasmine and Sammy, with Jasmine and Sean still being kind of awkward. Not with Jasmine as much being upset as Sean, she just kind of feels like bad in an uncomfortable way. Scarlet would still lead all these people to the room full of robot Chris's and since no one here has a reason not to believe her, they'd all still go. And once one gets near Jasmine, Sean would do the same thing of becoming zombie man and killing all the robot Chris's. And at this point, Jasmine would forgive Sean since he proved to put his own well-being above helping everyone else in that fight against zombies. Topher would break into the room running from the robot bear Scarlet sent after him and Chris would tell the cast now that Scarlet has taken over and that they need to stop her. And I realized as writing this that this could be kind of sick because if the people who were here to take down Scarlet weren't here, then that means there's a what if here where like Scarlet just wins and then the cast dies. Anyway, that has nothing to do with the what if, that's just a thought I had. Pretty weird. Sky is the one who originally has the plan to use a uh, head of the robot Chris like at the camera to convince Scarlet to open the door saying, you know, I agree to your terms. And she does, and originally Sugar is the one who takes down Scarlet, and she's not here. But, I mean, Jasmine's Jasmine, Sean's Sean, Sky's Sky, like, they could take her down, especially if it's a 5 on 1, so it's not really that big a deal. She'd still get apprehended, and they'd still shut down the computer, and then Scarlet would get auto-eliminated for being a crazy person. Topher would realize now that Scarlet had been lying to him, and that she was a bad person, and would feel really bad about believing Sammy was not good, and that she was a manipulator, and he tries to think about how he can make it up to her. Sky would see that there's a trio of Jasmine, Sammy, and Sean, and being worried about being eliminated now, she would work with Topher to try and get an alliance going. Topher is hesitant, but since his end goal is to still win the season, he would take Sky up on it, her offer. Jasmine and Sean would still have their romantic picnic like they do originally, except Sammy would be there now, not wanting to be alone at the cabin with Topher. This also means that Jasmine wouldn't give the deal to Sean about splitting the money. She wouldn't want to do that in front of Sammy. And also, I don't know if she'd want to have that idea anymore, since she actually has someone else on the cast that she wants to go to the end with, and Sammy. I mean, supposedly, you know, maybe she still wants to go with the other sky. I don't know. Either way, she just wouldn't say that now, so Sean wouldn't start to feel disheartened by that. When it comes to the challenge, Sky and Topher would travel together since they have an alliance, while Sean, Jasmine, and Sammy all travel together as a pack. And while Topher and Sky are going up the mountain together, Topher would ask Sky about how she thinks that he should make it up to Sammy since they're both girls. Sky quickly kind of pushes him off and says, no, you can't be singing about girls, you can't be singing about relationships, that's dangerous, we're here to win, we need to have our mind fully in the game. Topher gets kind of put off by her really, you know, instant change of attitude. While Jasmine, Sean, and Sammy are traveling together, Sammy would bring up what people want to do with the money, and Jasmine would say her plan, and Sean would hear it and think it's completely idiotic. He wouldn't say that, obviously, but Sammy would kind of get a hint of he didn't like that. Jasmine, Sean, and Sammy would run into the slippery step stones first with the lava underneath them. I imagine Jasmine would throw Sammy across the edge since, since Jasmine's a big person, she could easily throw Sammy. So Sammy would make her cross fine, and then Sean and Jasmine would make it cross the same way they do. However, Jasmine gets hit in the head with her log here, so Sean would have to continue carrying Jasmine for a bit longer, which obviously would kind of slow them down a bit. Sky and Topher would arrive, but Topher would do a fake model walk as he's been bragging to Sky supposedly for a bit, and he would just calmly walk across the stones. As Sky sings over the stepping stones, and then Topher doesn't realize till he gets to the end of the stepping stones that he had just done all that, and he starts to be a little confused and panic why Sky would just let him do that. But they continue on with Sky not really caring that much. Jasmine, Sean, and Sammy being ahead would run into the roll and realize they need to scale it again. Sky would again find a tunnel cave halfway up mountain and realize that, you know, her and Topher have to take it or else they're out of the challenge because she knows that these three are ahead. But there would still be robot bears inside the cave and because Sugar isn't here to take them down of her <sighs> talents, how I'll say that, Sky and Topher would have to be able to escape and I think Sky, you know, she's pretty agile, so she could just run out of the cave and then like jump up, and she would help Topher get out too. 
and they would escape with some scratches. Jasmine, Sean, and Sammy would be scaling the mountain, and again Jasmine would fall down the hill and tell Sean and Sammy to continue. Jasmine falls on top of Topher and Sky as Sean and Sammy make it to the top and get the flag. Where Chris reveals there's actually an auto elimination round and that the last person to make it up to the top will be eliminated. Topher being dizzy from Jasmine just landing on his head, in a dizzied state fall off the ledge and land on top of a flying crocodile which takes him all the way up. That sort of thing happens with Sky originally, with Sugar pushing Sky off, but I imagine now that Topher would just fall off naturally because, you know, he's dazed. Sky would be kind of annoyed. I mean, she's happy that Topher made it, but she's kind of annoyed because it feels unfair, considering she's been the one doing all the work for them the entire time. Jasmine and Sky start trying to run up towards the top of the hill, towards the hill, and Sky actually runs up the tree that Sugar originally just like easily pushes down. So Sky running up the tree to try to get ahead of Jasmine knocks the tree on top of Jasmine, causing Jasmine to now try and stand up and walk with it. Sky would look back for a second seeing Jasmine like that and kind of feel bad because she, you know, she's always preaching about like wanting it to be a fair challenge and that feels pretty unfair. But Sky would reflect on the entire game and just kind of realize that it's not a fair game and that it's not a game designed to reward hard work. So Sky shrugs and continues running up the hill, beating Jasmine, causing Jasmine to get eliminated. Sean and Jasmine would share a kiss before she gets eliminated, and Sammy would give Jasmine a hug in which Jasmine would return, crushing Sammy. Topher would find time to talk to Sammy, and Sammy seems annoyed but listens to what he has to say. Topher apologizes for how he acted and asks if she would like to go to the finale together since Topher likes her the most right now and he doesn't really want to go to the end of Sky since he saw how aggressive she was yesterday and also she's just proven to be really strong in challenges so it would be kind of dumb to go to the end of her. Sammy considers it since she does like Topher. She tells him though that she needs a little more time to think about it since she was really hurt by what he said. Topher understands and goes to leave the cabin. Once he walks out of the room, Sky grabs him and pulls him into the board side of the cabin and confronts him about talking with Sammy since he needs to be focused and not get distracted. Topher feels intimidated by Sky's aggression and agrees to not talk to Sammy anymore. The challenge would be the same, Chris would tell all the contestants that they can make a challenge and then first place gets four points, third place gets fourth? One first place gets four points, second place gets third three points, third place gets two points, and fourth place gets one points, and whoever has the least amount of points today will get eliminated. And whoever has the most amount of points today will have immunity and will decide who they will take to the finale. Sky would have the same challenge, and obviously Sky did really well in her challenge. Sean did well in her challenge, just not better than her. And I don't think Topher would be really good at running since, you know, he's like a model and he wouldn't really like the idea of him, like, risking his face getting hurt or something. So Sammy would get third and fourth would be Topher. Meaning the current score is Sky with four, Sean with three, Sammy with two, and Topher with one. Sean would have the exact same challenge, and originally. Sky gets ahead of him but falls behind because Sugar knocks a tree down which also knocks down Sky. But since Sugar isn't here, Sky would just win Sean's challenge and Sean would come in second since obviously he's the best at that. With some help by Sean, uh, Sammy would be able to come in and Topher would just be out of luck. So again, Sky first, Sean second, Sammy third, and Topher fourth making the scores Sky eight. Sean 6, Sammy 4, and Topher 2. Sky would see Topher's score lowering and start to worry for him, telling him to step his game up since she obviously still wants to go to the finale with him. Topher is pretty clearly not listening that much and is just thinking mainly about how to make it up to Sammy, kind of giving up on his goal to win a bit in exchange for making amends with Sammy. I have really no idea how to know what Sammy's challenge would be. I mean, Sammy has never mentioned at any point of her being like good at something, so I don't know what I'm supposed to base it off of. But even though this isn't shown in the show, I think it's the only thing I can really go off of. Assuming that her and Amy are both in cheerleader suits, it's safe to assume that they're both part of the cheerleading team. And I don't really view Amy as someone who would want to put in all the hard work of actually, you know, being a competent cheerleader. So I'm assuming that Sammy would actually be the one who's like good at it, because Amy could probably just make it on there being popular, but Sammy would actually have to be good at cheerleading to be on the team. Maybe even something like Amy didn't want to go to the tryouts or do any of that, so she has Sammy dress up as her and then go to the tryouts for her. So that would be her challenge, because I don't know what else to make it. However, Chris would probably think that this challenge is boring, because it's just cheerleading. So as an ex added thing, he would have Chef to throw things at the contestants while they compete. I actually have Topher coming in first, because with the added bonuses challenge being that Chef's throwing things, Chef would hit him with a book in the 
face, giving him a black eye, which Chris would find a lot of enjoyment in and give him first place. Everyone else would be kind of annoyed by this, but you know, it's Chris's show, so they can't do anything. Sammy would come second, since obviously it's her talent, so she's the best at it and she has the most coordination. Sky would be athletic enough to do the moves the cheerleaders do and also quick enough to be able to dodge the things and sean would be quick enough but he has no level of elegance or you know gracefulness cheerleading sort of way so i imagine he wouldn't do very well the score now is sky with 10 sammy with seven sean with seven and Topher of six. Sky, still realizing Topher has the lowest score, starts his panic as she desperately wants to go to the end with him because she thinks he'd be the easiest challenge to beat. Topher's challenge would be akin to Sugar's challenge originally, which was a talent competition. But now that Topher has gotten hit in the face and has a black eye, he gets extremely self-conscious over performing with a black eye and breaks down as Sky tries to help him. But she's obviously still not being very helpful since she's still being really aggressive and mean. Just telling him to stop complaining about it and things like that. Sky just gives up on him and decides that if she can't help Topher do good, then she needs someone else to do worse, which in this case would be Sammy, since she can't really view herself messing with Sean because he's a good challenge competitor. But Sammy's only one point ahead of Topher, and Sky would realize that if she can mess up Sammy's performance, then Topher would have a better chance of winning the challenge and not going home. Sean does originally what he does with his armpits, giving him a near perfect score of 27 out of 30, which is what he originally got. Sky, knowing her score is already 10, and that even if that even if Sammy or Sean won and she got one point, she'd still tie, and then she could probably beat him in whatever tiebreaker. And she wants to be able to save, you know, higher spots for Topher. So that way he can actually, you know, not get eliminated. So she would intentionally try to do bad. I don't really know how she'd do bad at a talent. Maybe she'd still just do the burping thing instead, but instead just try to be a lot more gross with it, you know, purposely burping at Chris or something, and then that would upset Chris and g he'd give her, her a lower score. Which I just said is a 10 out of 30. Topher is behind stage, ready to do model poses, but is self-conscious about his face still. But Sammy finds him and seeing him being all anxious and nervous and she still likes him even though she's upset at him right now. She goes to comfort him, comfort him and telling him that she's been giving it some thought and is ready to forgive Topher and that she wants to see him out there being himself. This gives Topher the confidence to do his modeling plan like he originally wanted to. And since he's been doing that his entire life, even Chris could admit that he has some nice moves and would give him a 23 out of 30. Now again, I don't really know what Sammy would do for a talent. I don't know what kind of talent she would have. Maybe it's something just akin to the cheerleading thing. Either way, it doesn't really matter because Sky would still sabotage Sammy to make sure that she doesn't score high enough to hurt Topher's chances of not getting eliminated. I don't really, you know, have a clear image in my head of how she would sabotage it, but I imagine something as simple as like she pats Sammy on the back with some itching powder or she blows pepper into her face to make her sneeze a bunch before she goes on stage. It would be enough where the she'd go out on stage and become an entire wreck, causing her to get a 7 out of 30, making the final score Sky 12, Sean 11, Topher 9, and Sammy 8. This would cause Sammy to get eliminated and she'd be scolding Sky for preaching about honor but intentionally sabotaging her. Sky wouldn't care about the dig at her but Topher and Sean would both be shocked asking her if it's true. Sky would admit telling them that this game isn't designed to be fair, saying for example that Sean got 3 more points than Topher, was 1 point away from tying with her. But even though Sean's proven to be more deserving of a finalist, she's going to take Topher to the end. Sean is pretty bummed about this, and Topher quickly comes up to Sammy while she's in the cannon and tries to more formally apologize for what happened, and says that he might have not known who she really was when he fell in love with her, but he knows who he fell in love with, which makes Sammy pretty happy as she gives him a farewell, telling him that he better win, and Topher promises to her that he will. And here we are, we're at the finale. Topher is still mad at Sky and calls her what the production world calls trashy. Sky would shoot back at Topher telling him the only reason he's even here is because of her and that he doesn't deserve a chair next to her in the finale, not a mind the throne as a winner. Topher tells Sky that he can win since he got the support from Sammy and he's bringing his A game, which Sky just calls Q and pats him on his head, messing with Topher's hair, which Topher gets annoyed at while Sky chuckles. The challenge would still play out the same with Chris getting them both healthers with the will, but I think it's pretty obvious based off the will and what happened later with him wanting them to turn against the person that it's not random. <laughs> it is designed to choose the people that would interfere with the finalist the most. So Sky would still get Dave, and Topher would get an image of Sammy and think he has Sammy, but Chris clarifies for Topher, pointing at her cheek, showing that it's Amy. This makes Topher bummed out and considering the things he's heard from, you know, what Amy does to Sammy, he's not the most pleased to have her. Same things happen with Sky and Dave, except in this case, Sky would be kind of more aggressive with Dave and not really be as comforting to him. 
since in this world she's a lot more aggressive about winning. Amy would be annoyed that she's back since she's really upset with the way she got eliminated, but okay of helping him for now since she thinks he's kind of funny and she doesn't know that Topher and Sammy get along well since she hasn't been here. Both duos get dropped on top of the snowy mountain with a pile of trash to get down it. Amy wouldn't want to touch any of the gross stuff in the pile to make bobsled, but Topher would quickly grab the skis and tell Amy to hop on his back, telling her he knows how to ski from, from some photo shoots. Amy jumps on his back and Topher narrates their escape as Amy sighs annoyed. Kind of like the original, Dave would see Topher doing this and insist to Sky that they do the same thing. Sky's a little bit hesitant, but wanting to win the challenge would get on his skis. Topher, being skilled in skiing, would be able to avoid all the blobs of snow and get down relatively quickly, but Dave wouldn't be able to dodge the blobs and instead fly off one like a ramp and get him and Sky stuck in a snowball like they do in the original. Sky would provoke the cat bot to get out like the original, since she still knows about that, but they'd be really far behind at this point, since Topher and Sammy, since Topher and Amy just went down normally quickly. Amy wouldn't want to be at the bottom with the mud thing since she doesn't want to be covered in mud but Topher would be fine with it since he would like a mud bath for his face and doesn't really want to waste time since he wants to win for Sammy. Sky and Dave would come behind and since Jasmine isn't here now Originally, when Jasmine goes under and she's claustrophobic, so she starts heading back because she's panicking, Topher would just stay calm, wanting to win for Sammy, remembering that feeling, and just move on forward, which means Topher and Amy would just naturally make it to the end first. But Topher would still sit down the contestants to show them the clips to persuade them against their finalists. Chris would show the same thing for Sky and Dave. For Amy, Chris would show various clips of Sammy and Topher getting along as well as like Sammy doing well on the show, which would cause a lot of spite and anger in Amy since she feels like that should be her because she was unfairly eliminated and doesn't want to help Topher anymore since he got along well with Sammy, which is the worst thing in the world for Amy. Same things would happen. Chris would give Dave and Sammy the controllers and tell them to mess up if that Neva finalist makes it to the end in 10 minutes, they can both split the money. Topher has a reward for winning the first part of the challenge, will get a 1 minute head start above Sky. Sky at this point being really upset that she's you know, lost Dave interest and she does still like Dave, would try apologizing to her, but Dave is really hesitant to listen and Amy is also kind of pushing Sky away, wanting to torture them. About the same sort of things happen with Topher and Sky running, except Topher is ahead for the most part and is talking to the camera as he goes, telling Amy to treat her sister better. Sky eventually makes up time since she's just a lot better runner than Topher, and Dave ends up putting them both on the mountain again, but Sky breaks the mountain with her foot because I don't know how, but she does. Having the alternate winners being caused by whichever finalist makes it cross the line during the avalanche. Sky's winning ending is a, would be about the same, except she'd be a bit more cocky, but not in like a teasing or aggressive way like she's been for the last couple episodes, but more in just like a really happy way that she was able to succeed. In Tofu's winning ending, he celebrates with the money, kissing the briefcase, and thanking Sammy for giving him the courage and power to continue. This really annoys Amy for talking good about his sister, and Dave would be again upset that he lost the money. And there we go. That would be the season if Amy never returned. Finale was still kind of a big bummer, but unfortunately the Packet 2 Island finale is just kind of designed to be upsetting. Like, how are you supposed to have the people that the finalists won't get along with for churn and then have a good ending from that. It's really far fetched. And also the fact that Sky and Dave are still there is just God, it's Satan. <laughs> Satan. I mean I don't need to explain why. I mean people are I mean I don't need to explain why. People know full well why Dave is not great, so I don't need to say anything because I'd just be a broken record repeating what people already said. But even though this finale is kind of a bummer, especially with a bittersweet ending for Sky. I do kind of prefer it in a couple of ways that it makes for a more individual arc of ending the story as opposed to like needing everyone around you in a finale like a big hoorah moment. It feels like a more individualistic way to end the arcs. Which I think kind of actually matches these arcs in a better way. As both Topher and Sky had their negatives about each other, they weren't really perfect. And I feel like them being able to overcome their faults within themselves and then win without needing everybody else to come condole them for everything concludes what they were doing in a more fitting way. I know I already said this in the last video I had, but again, really thank you for the support I'm getting. The thousand-fold increase of my viewers since the last video really impressed me, and I'm really appreciating all the comments I'm getting with a lot of suggestions about what-ifs. I know I might not respond to all of them, and sometimes I don't see all of them just because it's kind of increasing a lot now, and I don't really have the time to be looking at this all the time. But I do look at them, and I do consider most of them, and I would love to get more of them, as I am having fun right now, and I would like to continue doing what I'm doing. So with that, yeah.